Emilia from Bitscout and in this video I wanted to show you how we can uh, augment the sales pipeline template coming from monday.com uh, team themselves. So there is a monday.com stories and this is the template uh, that they demonstrated how um, they can track uh, individual sales rep uh, funnels. So what we can do is we, we can use this template and uh, add uh, an extra column which is called communication sentiment. The key part of uh, sales pipeline uh, that Alex uh, Goya from Monday showed is uh, tracking the communications. It means that you need to add an integration where the emails from your prospects or leads are forwarded in, in, into the monday.com task. It is done with, with this recipe. It's important to note that email is the column and uh, this way this recipe automatically sorts the uh, the incoming emails uh, per corresponding task so i used i changed it a little bit just to show you a test how we can do that and what we've added is because we now collect all the emails we added a, a recipe from bitscout which is uh, uh, doing a sentiment analysis by analyzing the sentiment you can understand in, in which way the customer talks to you and you can basically uh, get an overview of your deal uh, progress and uh, uh, if something goes wrong you can immediately react on that and because it's done automatically you can really uh, build reports and uh, build other automations based on that uh, sentiment analysis in this recipe we use a kind of a reverted scheme where we check we use a workflow called negative sentiment check so we check that if it's negative, then we set the then the workflow is executed successfully because we were checking for negative uh, sentiment, and we set a label to not positive. If anything else, neutral, including neutral or mixed, we send it to positive. So we only react when it's something really really bad is starting to happen. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, run it. I I changed the labels to unknown just to show you how it works like and I will forward some emails just a moment and uh, once they appear here in in the update we'll see how the labels are changed so now we have first email coming in and uh, on the background we start checking uh, we start running the workflow that does uh, sentiment analysis And okay, so we can see that both uh, uh, sentiment checks resulted into positive. It means it's not a negative. Okay, so let's see the details. We can see the details that mostly the email was neutral, which sometimes is okay, it's just a professional language. Okay, in this case also the email was, uh, it's basically the, there were three pages uh, and they mostly were neutral. Some of them were mixed, but mostly neutral. Okay. In this case, you can uh, understand what uh, what's the status of your communications with the customer and react if something goes wrong or sudden change from positive to negative. Or it tells us that uh, uh, there is something going on uh, with this deal. That's a small uh, update that you can do with Bitscout, which can significantly influence your sales performance. Thanks a lot for your time and the details how you can do it uh, by yourself are in the blog post in the link uh, in the description. Thanks a lot.